Well, it's time to leave Dunnett Head and head for Orkney. Well, check-in was easy. Tap on the window. Just the one here. Yeah. Here you go. Lane three. I'm in Orkney. There's a couple of sunken boats and one of the Churchill barriers there protecting Scapa Flow. I thought I'd better draw some cash out since I'm going to try and find some local produce. Why you give me these funny things? With Orkney being the ultimate goal of this expedition, it's time to fix a sticker. Quick stop for lunch. Got my Orkney thick oat cakes, my Orkney butter, my mature Orkney cheddar. Put it together. Mmm, 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 look at that. I've just come to look for orcas. They're heading this way, unless they've already gone past. So fingers crossed. Look at this for a beautiful spot between Marwick and Bursay. Over there in the distance, I can see the gun sight. Here we go, I'm disembarking the ferry. There's my grandfather's van. And behind me, wow, you'll see in a moment. You can keep your Stonehenge. To me, this is what it's all about. With or without the personal connection. This is tangible history to me. As an officer, these are steps my grandfather would have gone down. This is incredible. And there, the steps. From on top of the battery command post, gun battery, H6, Risa Bay, on Hoy, Orkney, with Scapa Flow to your right, and Risa Bay Lodge. Anyone asking me where I wanted to end up on this trip, and where I wanted good weather, and where I wanted access, the answer would have been, H6 Risa Lodge gun battery. So kind of the owner to let me just wander around at will. I've had a good couple of hours looking at the gun site. <laughs> I'm made up. I'm sticking with the Orkney butter and the mature Orkney cheddar, but I'm going to have it on an Orkney bear bannock. Good morning, Highland cow. Well, I parked up somewhere. Over there is Withy Gill. On top of that is a crashed aeroplane. I've decided to prepare myself thoroughly for this by putting on a top, putting on my boots, and more importantly, putting on my Deadpool pants. This is the sort of place you can only visit with superhero underpants and a very strange inkling of needing to go somewhere. I'm at the top of hill. There's another one behind. And there's one behind that. I'm not sure exactly which one. Uh, looks like I'm about fifth of the way there and I'm pretty tired. I mean, if you look back, you can see the van. You can, can't you? Somebody is not happy with me. Well, I've made it to the summit of Withy Gill. There's, there's my rock. Uh, to put on top of the cairn. To mark my place. Uh. Part of a 303 round. Another round. Just 
It's all the cordite in it. Zero six twenty nineteenth March. A two twenty squadron Lockheed Hudson N seven three one zero crashes in poor weather on the slopes of Withy Gill to the west of H six, killing all crew members. Dead centre there is Risa Lodge, and I can just make out the gun pits from here. I'm really surprised how much of the actual paintwork is still visible. It hasn't completely faded away in the last eighty years. I mean, here you've got yellow and red on there. Something firing very pistol. Wow, so this is your flare tube. Oh, this is really interesting. Wow, let's look at that, and it's all to myself. Oh, that feels good. Deep yellow to brown to dark to blue. Up in the mountains, no one else for miles. Well, what can I say, apart from I'm skinny dipping and you don't need to know more than that. I've been up here seven hours. It's roasting. The sun has been out since I found the wreckage. That blue water down there looks amazing. I haven't made such a hard physical effort in, I don't know how long. I don't think I've ever in my entire life desired something cold to drink as I do now. It's from right at the bottom so it's going to... Not far from Withy Gill lie the graves and the bodies of the four men who died that day. Bit of a stroke of luck. So, uh, come to the Martello Tower and Hackness Battery. There's a hose on a standpipe. So I've just washed up what needed washing up and I'm now filling my water. Gun emplacement one. Gun emplacement two, behind. Gun emplacement three, behind. Gun emplacement four, behind. Just along from the gun emplacements, we've got four bases for Nissan huts. These would be for crew accommodation. This one, you've got the front wall of the Nissan hut as well as the base. You've even got the window frame with the handle. Look at that. <laughs> Shall we let a bit of air in? Ah, oh, that's locked solid. So this is the kind of accommodation my grandfather would have stayed in. Well, I'm here in Long Hope, which I figured was a, a town. It was a Long Hope lifeboat over there. There's the Long Hope petrol pump and the Long Hope shop. Long Hope is uh, the main settlement on South Walls and it's the only place where you can buy fuel or a picnic. Well this is fantastic news. I've made it down. I'm now down at the bottom. That's Peggle Bay over there. We're in Peggle Burn. This is where the Junkers JU-88, the first German aircraft to be shot down on British soil by an anti-aircraft gun at Risa Lodge, crashed. This is really a fantastic spot. And once again, I've got it all to myself. I'm on top of Lirawa Hill looking over Scapa Flow and the Bring Deeps. This is a four position anti-aircraft post for 3.7 inch guns. Most of it's all gone. There is one position over there. Really good view of the holdfasts on this particular example. As I am a glutton for punishment, I'm gonna do a one kilometer walk to the Dwarfy Stone. This is a dwarfy stain. Let's go have a look. This is the only known example of a Neolithic rock cut tomb in the British Isles. Something like 5,000 years old. 
but it is very impressive. Now that the sun has come out again, the island is looking beautiful again. Look at that sea. No way I'd ever make it up there. I'm impressed with the size and speed of this one. I've woken up this morning. I've actually got out of bed specifically for my morning uh, entry because that is lovely. So the sun has come up. The mist is burning off the hills already. Yeah, right. So it's five and a half mile round trip to the old man of Hoy and back from somewhere over that lot. Uh, I don't think so. Look at this. It's fantastic. Look. I guess somebody's picked this up. Tommy's helmet from the wall. That is so fantastic. I wish I'd found it. I'm tempted to stick it. You can't do that. Uh, with all the hair and beard gone, I'm obviously not the old man of Hoy. But if anybody says, own oh, home. No. I will not be laughing. This place of life may be a bit too slow for me, but I really like it too. It's great. Good morning, I'm not on the manifest. I'm supposed to be crossing tomorrow, but the gentleman there just said I've come across. Well, you already paid? Yeah, yeah, it's all paid up. That's fine, Brilliant. thank you. you Thanks again. ever so Have much. The manifest, as it's known, is a set of post-it notes. Well, goodbye, Risa Lodge Gun Battery H6. Stunning, stunning location. If I can see some sort of citations here, I will be overjoyed. It's nice and slow, and nice and easy. That there on the right is a Brock of Guinness. And this gorgeous bay is where I'm going to go fishing. Juvenile Pollock are such stunning little fish. Superb cold fish. We don't get them at home. Well, it's Sunday lunch, isn't it? Who's paying for campsites? We're singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain What a wonderful feeling I'm happy again Look, I needed a shower, I can't find any public showers And I figured, do you know what? Why not? Apart from it being cold ah! The Brock of Gurness is really old uh, From a time anywhere between 100 and 500 BC it's one of 50 in Orkney. People say when you're visiting Orkney, oh, go to Twat, go to Twat. Fantastic. Well, conditions certainly aren't what they were this morning, which makes me think, hmm, I'll go for a dive. These are the stones of Stennis on mainland Orkney, which are thought to be one of the oldest stone circles in Britain. So I've just come about halfway between the stones of Stennis to the right and the Ring of Brodka to my left, and this is uh, the Ness of Brodka. And this is a uh, this was feasting halls. 
Well, as you can see, I'm getting really near lithic on you today. This is a ring of Brodka, which is uh, from about 2500 BC, and it's the third oldest stone circle in uh, Britain. So I'm a bit closer to some of the stones. It, there, there was about 60 of these here, apparently. Now there's about 30 odd, I think. This is Big Mac. Oh, hey, Big Mac. Look at that. Look at it. That bridge. A bridge over troubled water. Well, for those of you disappointed that I didn't go and film the old man Ahoy, here's a young boy of mainland. Look at that, standing tall and proud. So I just stopped in Bursay at this old ruined building that I thought was fabulous and shouldn't be ruined. Well, it was the Earl's Palace and it was built by Lord Robert Stuart, an illegitimate son of James V. Well, I'm down on Bursay Beach. There's a few cairns that have been made by people up here. And that's just quite stunning. Well, this is the Brock of Bursay. So these are different, different buildings, you know, different rooms, different houses, huts, whatever, walkways between them. It's really quite smart. And look at that view. That's really good. So here's a lighthouse on top of Brock of Bursey. Coming down, got a cliff edge, and you've got this magnificent sheer drop here. And that lovely chunk cliff there and beautiful clear blue seas yet again in the headland now this is a prime spot for whale spotting but i'm buggered if i can see anything well i think i've pretty much done the north of the island now so i'm going to head into uh, kirkwall which is the capital and which actually looks like a real place like a real town so i came through kirkwall as i said and i've pulled up here and uh, there's two block ships there you can see like like uh, poking out the water and this is one of the Churchill barriers well it's drizzly and it's grey and misty so I think I'm a bit buggered for the next few hours um, maybe the whole day so the chapel was originally made out of two distant huts placed end to end and then decorated so let's go and have a look I've walked into Kirkwall, which is the size of a sort of market town in the mainland UK, but it's a city because it has a cathedral. Look at that. And look at that. I mean, I don't know who on earth wants a blue moose, apart from me. I'm loving this shop. This is brilliant. Now, that's a great song, Bad Reputation. I've got one of those. And this is a fantastic album, Highway 61 Revisit. Marvellous local food. This is like the biggest local food shop I've found. Look at it. Look. Right, so I've heard about these. I have a patty supper. This is chips with a, a patty. It's minced. Mince and potato crumbed and deep fried and it's it's actually really good. So imagine like a minced potato pie without pie. I have discovered heaven. Not just a charity shop, shop of shit. This is a, this is a warehouse of shit. This is absolutely brilliant. Well that's brilliant. It just cost me 40p right for my uh, for my two plates and my two fish knives. It's brilliant. 40p right. That'll do nicely, thank you very much. Come south to Hoxahead for this evening. Lovely beach, look at that.